Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, join the Hawaiian Shirt Papa on a tour of the Valley Village in St. Catharines. This is the one, if there's more than one, that's closer to the QE at the western end. Here we are right at the beginning. The place was quite busy and I had to come back and take a second look at some of the areas. Uh, you may or may not notice that as we're going through. Some of it was edited together, so it's not that bad. Some oddball items here, man. You can't always be sure what the heck you're going to find. Here we are set some of the statuary. And there's some interesting little objects here. Some are reasonable priced. Some are atrociously priced. I think that's a $2.99. I think I did pick that one up. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got it. If you see it on the Instagram page, then it's still available. You can always keep a track of it there if you want. And um, this tour I was here with uh, Westwood Avenue, whom I'm usually with, but not always. Sometimes I do go on my own. Sometimes I go with uh, others. Some more of these knickknacks. You never know what you're gonna find. I kind of suspect this may have been for uh, compact for dust, dusting your face. Those were way overpriced. showed you the price of $6.99 there and these are vases oh, glass ones ceramic plus resin all kinds all kinds are in here and over to I think these were candles and then we're into uh, planters that mug there was uh, pretty interesting so it was a blue glass ball it stayed there if I remember right yeah magpie eye catches some things that are kind of bright and shiny and then I see the oddball things why would somebody be selling or even giving those away to the goodwills beyond me yes they've got a book section then they got all these women's clothes of all sorts. I'll, and I mean a lot of them. And then they got the drapes and sheets and knickknacks at the back. The knickknack being, in this case, probably sewing goods. And they had children's clothing. The toys are at the far end, far back of the store. Now we're back at the front. And we're looking at the so-called higher value items these are the jewelry showcases gotcha. probably some of them are apparently high value according to their so-called uh, appraiser ah yes the first look at shirts and here you'll notice that it's oh I lost that one there it was nine forty nine in any case. I thought it was overpriced. I found the uh, some Hawaiian shirts in a different location as I as I'm reviewing the video. Yes, they have shoes. 
and the yeah, oh yeah, that's what it was. They there were two different rocks. He started on one and he finished on another. There's a Hawaiian shirt. Here we go. $9.99. For a change is a reasonable price. I don't remember what the brand is offhand. I usually look for ones that are made in Hawaii. There are other brands that are made. Here's a Hunt Club. That's do they just make a lot of shirts? If, if I remember right, they're Sears brand originally. And then they've got some more more smaller size prints than there as well. Hawaiians might use them for more like uh, uh, business suits. Fourteen fifty. Twelve dollars. Come on, folks. These are these have already been paid for by somebody. There's no particular reason they have to charge these kind of prices for them. In any case, it's uh, it is what it is. If somebody's looking to just pick up one and uh, use it for themselves, hey, all the more power to you. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to chastise you for going here. But still, I didn't, up, up until recently, they're like seven eight dollars other stores are still at seven dollars or so there's one for ten it looks a little more authentic to me the looks are one thing labels are the other uh, I usually prefer to get them in cotton I have obtained some in silk but apparently the most rare are the rayon ones that were made between 1945 and 1955 apparently they are really rare they wear like like steel this is a looks like a pattern one of our friends has uh, collect uh, collects she has them in silver and in a gold tone don't remember that brand uh, it must not have been much of a, a ceramic brand not one of the higher end ones in any case. So here we are still taking oh, gold edged on the, on the uh, glass. I don't think it was anything of better value. So it stayed behind. Somebody else can enjoy it. Kitchen items, uh, larger serving items, kitchen, <laughs> cake platter cake stand really there's all kinds of things people buy people finally give them away at some point it may be uh, many decades in between those two options but I'll cut out one it's a nice looking piece not into ceramics generally there's a few very specific ones we sometimes will pick up uh, yes barbecue tools and other cooking tools here we've got a set of four white glass indented for cup platters so they would have been for a lunch set they were $13 for the set of four and it's coming up here so that you can also see that it is there's the indent for the cup. There was another platter there for seven, six dollars. But there's four of these at thirteen dollars for the four of them. Um, generally, we don't do the white glass, but it's always good to take a look. Sometimes, if it's a good enough deal, yeah, we might pick it up. But the issue is, if we're trying to sell it online, it's it's so difficult to ship the glass. It'd have to be a direct pickup by someone. And here we are, we're just still snooping along. Oh, oh yeah, the hibiscus. That's not the uh, pattern that we have a collection of. And into the stemware. I had been looking for a stemware one for my sister-in-law at one point but 
it's been it's been a while i don't remember what it looks like anymore and i'm not sure if she's even so worried about it um if she is she can certainly let me know we'll keep an eye on it again keep an eye out for it huh uh, teacups coffee cups mugs oh yes those those are quite interesting there's two that were interesting it doesn't they weren't match but they're similar in design yeah so um, here we go notions i think those are what they're called all smaller really small kitchen items in bags and some Christmas stuff here seasonal as they may say there oh yes the chicken teapot trouble is even for what they're asking there is no lid at eight dollars I think they're crazy myself but that's me Sorry about spinning you around there so much, but I was trying to avoid people. And cute little items. Uh, you can make small, small personal size portions in those. What was this? Oh, he yeah, has a fry pan, cast iron fry pan. For a change, it wasn't ten dollars. It had dropped down a little bit. Neither of these is particularly of higher value. Yeah, you can use them on um, induction top cookers or gas. They're great for either one. Uh, the, what I like is the really old ones. They actually machine the interior a lot smoother than what the new ones do. Ah, oh, yes, the maps on a bottle. That was the only section I had of that, so I had to uh, make the best of that barware yeah, nice sets it's often they're missing one which uh, kind of makes it useless uh, the mixer classic smaller uh, other small appliances and old electronics i think this is a roku it's even got the infrared it's got the the other feeds for whatever or either that or it's well i can't remember what it is but i think it was a roku or something of that nature they don't make them of this nature anymore they do it by other techniques but that's the way it was at one time I thought it was a hard drive case originally, so that's why I was looking at it. But when I saw the HDMI and network cables, I said, hmm, guess not. And uh, mixer, if I remember right. Not looking for anything like that. We're finishing off over here. A whole pile of photo printers they came out for a while they were all over the place you can still get them at, at these uh these kind of stores there's always a risk somebody left the ink in there and they dried up in the little tubes and then it's irreparable you put a new cartridge it won't matter because it won't suck the, the ink out of it and then you paid a lot of money for the ink and it don't get to print anything you just gotta turn it and look at it what the heck is that it's some oddball stuff that they have in here part of what i like doing is looking to see to figure out what the heck it is oh now we're back to the front of the store is it oh these are uh, pet goods cleaning up cleaning equipment shortly we'll be heading to the front of the store again 
And finally, the crowd had moved away from that area. So that's why it, uh, we're going to be going up there in a moment. And here we are. There's an aisle between the where I was and where the main aisle is, and it's got the sporting goods in it. Never know what you see. And the other side, we were on the other side of this, this stand, uh, rack, whatever you want to call it. And at the end here, we're going to be going to see one piece of artwork. And it took a little bit to look at it and realize it was actually a print. Oddball things, man. A stool that looks like that. There's the entrance. Ah, level without one of the files really useful and some power tools that the dead batteries as usual here's this one took a lot a little more effort to look at it and realize that it was a print um it's a nice frame regardless of what the image is in the middle anyway thanks hope so.